So, welcome back to another episode of Mainly Lofts. Check out this feeder. This is the one that I um, just whipped up yesterday. Look how bright this thing is. It's 1.2 meters long. That's um, pretty much the standard size of the material I use. It's just made out of wood. Um, just, I just made it to the standard size that it is. So, um, I'm going to give it a trial now, see how it goes. I might look at putting some little covers over it, but I really don't think um, I'm too fussed about them walking over it. Like, as long as they keep the, walk, the, the floor clean, um, then I think it'll be fine. I, well, but if they do, then we can look at making another one or extending up a piece of dowel that runs down the whole length of it, which I've got dowel at home. So um, we might look at that. But this is a pretty good little base. I, I was hoping to make one that was about 1.8 metres long, so it would have probably come up to about there. So we just have one big long one can hang it up on the wall or and then just drop it down and feed them so i might look at um if we do have to make modifications to this then i might also look at making one that um has that dowel down the middle so that they can't jump in so we'll just see we'll test it out sh like in a second but uh first we need to get all these birds up into the trap and see if we can Get them tracking pretty quick today. I reckon they will. They are learning quite quickly. Um, we are using food as a main motivator here, which seems to be working really well. So what I'll do is I'll just whip that out, um, and then we'll get them out. So just wait, you guys. He's ready. Let's go outside. Outside. Come on. Outside. Fly time. I think that's a good one. Come on. That's one. That's two. Come on. Let's go all of this. Let's do this. Come on, team. Even you, Adam Archer twin. I know you're a bit difficult, but you need to go out as well. Come on. Good girl. Hey? Come on, you guys. Well, that's most of them. That's just getting easier and easier. Just, well, beefcake. Hey, beefcake. Stay back there, mate. All right, just calm down a little bit. I might have to put them ones out by hand. They, I think they want to hang around and try out this new feeder that I made. Just wait. I'm, you're just starting to know what this noise means, I think. So what I might do is I'll put put those other birds out and then no 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 you look at them all coming through stop 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 hang on hang on you're getting too keen here go back out all right all right don't worry about that that's not a problem that's only because he come halfway and went back out that he's not going to get out normally no no hang on wait I know how keen you are and we've had some really good feedback from people in the comments and it's definitely helping these guys trap more because I've been utilizing some of the things that you guys have been saying. Um, and yeah, just helping getting these birds through because obviously you guys watch this channel and I'll read all your comments. So make sure you drop comments down below because um, your comments are definitely helping with these, get these birds sorted. You want to go out as well, don't you? Look how keen you are. Come on. No, 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 no. You want to come out? Too? No, all right, all right, all right. Oh, you're a pain. Are you going to be one of these difficult pigeons? Come on. Go, go, go. Go through there, go through there, come on, come on. Yes, all right, all right. Let's get these other two out there and then we'll do one trap training. Just calm down, please. Hang on. Right, so use it all in your box. Oh, keen, look how keen they are. This is really good, so. I feel like these guys are getting very close to being let out just for the fact that um, this loft in comparison to the loft that I had them in at home uh, they couldn't really see anything and in that backyard they can't see anything apart from my house um, there's no view anywhere else so here they've sort of they've got the view and they're starting to imprint on this area because this is what they look out of this so pretty much when they're looking out of the loft here this is their view so I feel like um, they're going to settle an imprint a lot quicker here just because they can actually see things um, and they probably get a little bit excited because they see these beautiful blue skies. Like, look at this. Today would be a perfect morning like yesterday morning as well. So we really need to sort of start progressing and getting these guys out. There's quite a lot of them. And um, yeah, I'm definitely keen, especially after having that little blue bar escape and he was just playing around, having a bit of a flap. And he, he went up there and trapped no problem at all. So it puts a lot of confidence in me, especially for... Um, the birds in his age group or younger just because they are a lot easy That's their rapid period of development where they learn really quickly. It's like a puppy from you know that first couple of weeks of a puppy 
I think it's like five to 12 weeks, whatever they learn quite quickly, and the pigeons are the same. So I feel like those young ones are learning. Um, they want to go out for a fly, so we definitely need to get them out soon. I might even look, consider bringing one or two out on the weekend just to have them sit around up on top and just see how things are. So they will pretty much be two weeks in this loft, but given that they've been locked up in other lofts for so much longer, actually it might be a little bit over two weeks, so I feel like that's enough for some. Um, but we'll just see or see how they go they are trapping really well and the fact that they know this is the spot where they need to be and that's their entry and also spend a lot of time here so i'll leave this open today they can spend all day out here um, i'll come back later in the day i do have my pre-start for my house today so hopefully soon this will start turning into a house But let's get them out. All right, you guys, let's do this. Let's might set up this new feeder and just see how it goes. It's it's heaps bigger than the other one. Let's set it beside it so we can get an idea of the size. Um, if I didn't film making this, but I definitely need to do another one anyway at some point. So I'll definitely make a film. But look at the size of that compared to the one that we have already. It's pretty much double the size. So. I might just use this one and see how it goes. I made it the similar color. That's actually the color of the landing board. Um, you can see that through there. It's that green. So I just use that with the like a Dulux outdoor weather paint. So it's pretty good. At least I can wash it and clean it. But I'm hoping it doesn't get too dirty because, um, you know, I'm not going to leave it laying around. It's just basically going to be feed and then put away. So... Right, let's lock this door so we can get ready for this let's get ready for this um, after my pre-start I'm gonna come back down here give this loft a nice clean out um, and I might do a few more trap trains this afternoon so it's good it's getting exciting I just don't have time this morning I just really wanted to try out this little feeder oh look at that oh yeah I think they're gonna be happy with this I'm not even going to jingle this tin today. I'm just going to let them come down, have this nice little snack. Um, I'll give them another feed this afternoon. So where can I put this little container? I need a hook or something for it. Oh, look at this. That works. All right. Come on. Come on. I'd say that might be all of them. They're definitely standing in it, so yeah. oh no, some are, some are. They're just probably a little bit too excited today. That is nearly enough room. I'd say if I build two of these, um, we, we should be fine. So I might build another one, but I might put the dowel down the middle. I might do the dowel on this one as two as well. So what I might do is just take these two screws out either side and pull this little section out and I'll make one that comes up a bit higher and I'll just put a dowel all the way across. So I think that's gonna work. That's actually a pretty cheap little um, feeder. Like this thing here cost me like $45 or whatever. Where this here probably cost me like $20 and it's heaps bigger. Um, so if I can make another one, like pretty much two of these for the price of that, that's really good so stay tuned for that video i'm definitely going to have to make um another one do some mods to it so i think two will be fine because we are going to have more birds in this loft but there's plenty of room there but we'll probably have another 12 birds in this loft i think anyway so yeah i think we'll be fine i think we'll be good i think with a little rail or something on there it'll stop them jumping in there that's definitely what we need to do so i will um have to take this little feed a home with me this afternoon and make sure I get some mods done to it and try and whip up another one I think as well so I think it's good I'm very happy with that actually apart from the fact that some of them are sitting in it but that's all right that's all right that's not a problem we, we, we can fix that problem no worries But 
they actually trap really well I was very happy with that they didn't come in until I called them so that was really good I'm glad that they are actually reacting to that call quite well here's the one that come out the other day on us so that's good I'm, I'm so stoked actually what I might do is just sit that back up there open this up they're actually molting quite heavily you can see all the feathers on the wire definitely need to sort those out but um, yeah I think they're pretty good. I might get some more grit in there for them as well. This isn't food, you know, this is just grit. Actually noticed something really funny when I was here. Uh. One of the chickens have laid an egg under there. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to make some really more comfortable nest boxes for them, but uh, yeah, feeder works quite well. It's definitely a good size need to make two and I need to do the top rail on them I think just to um, keep them all in line but the birds are looking really good and performing and starting to behave really good so um, I'm gonna head off to my pre-start I'm gonna leave this open I'll come back out here this afternoon and we'll just redo that all again and yeah it's good times getting pretty exciting uh, getting very very close to actually letting these birds out so stay tuned for that make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you like the video because it actually helps these videos out and the channel so much so push that out there let's keep going things are getting pretty exciting um they're very exciting so i'm going to catch you in the next video